As you can clearly see, in this story, we're going to be presenting to you what looks to be kind of an incel clown. His name is Robert Keith Tincher III, I believe. What did Robert Keith Tincher III do, you may ask? Well, his grandma took a fall. His grandma was not dead, but his grandma got put in bags and placed in the freezer, and he knew she was breathing, and he did it anyway because he had a warrant. Let's get to this. Georgia man accused of stuffing grandmother in the freezer to die after dragging injured woman through the home and hearing numerous bones break. Guys, I've told you this and I've said this over and over. We are now in a car driven by evil. Floyd County police discovered the body of Doris Cumming, uh, age 82. Thursday, in the Amuchi home, she shared with grandson, 29-year-old Robert Keith Tenger III. Once again, this is an issue with these young people, these millennials, right? Who lives with their grandma or parents at 29 years old? Obviously, people that look like the clown I just showed you. These young people never fucking move out, right? Tencher was charged with murder, aggravated battery, and concealing the death of another. Now, I want you to imagine this. Just visualize the picture. Imagine your grandma falling. And she's reaching up at you. She's wanting your help. And you drag her and break her bones. You see a freezer and you try to put her in the freezer. You break her back. You hear her breathing. You close the freezer. You hit the latch. Police said Cummings' family believed she had moved out of the state, but grew concerned after not hearing from her and reported she might be missing. Cummings was injured in a fall, and instead of getting her medical attention, Tincher dragged her through the home, causing numerous bones to break. He then wrapped her in plastic bags, bags and placed her in a large freezer, with the charges saying Tincher acknowledged her back broke when he put her into the freezer. Charges say there were no altercation or provoca provo provocation leading up to the acts. <sighs> a disturbing story in Floyd County. A man charged with killing his grandmother and hiding her body in a freezer. Floyd County police say he kept her body in the freezer for months. Fox 5's Denise Dillon Months. talked to investigators about the heinous Months. crime. This is one of those stories it's just hard to believe, and it gets even worse. Investigators say the woman was still alive when she was placed in the freezer. Uh, she lived here with her grandson in this apartment. He absolutely loved apartment. his grandmother. He said that was the only family member that really Oh, he him. absolutely loved his grandmother. Absolutely loved his grandmother. Well, let me tell you the reason why the goofball did it. He had a warrant out for his arrest because two men arrested after conspiring on Facebook to murder one of their wives. That's him there on the left. This happened in Rome, Georgia. Two men from Rome were arrested Monday. This is back in 2018 after allegedly using Facebook to conspire to kill one of the wives. Courtney Tincher contacted the Rome police saying her husband, Robert Keith Tincher III, age 25 at that time, had vandalized her car in March and posted on Facebook about hiring a hitman. Robert Tincher also allegedly used Facebook Messenger to contact Stephen Walter Brooks, age 25, the other fellow that you saw, to discuss a contract to put Courtney Tincher six feet deep. Both men are charged with felony terroristic threats and acts, and they are currently in the Floyd County Jail without bond, according to jail records. Well, he did get out. He did get out. Let's go ahead and get back to this story. That's the man right there. So he had a warrant for this. We'll get to all that information before later. But I just want to make this clear. That grandma that he says he loved so much, this was simply because he didn't want to go to jail on his warrant. He loved her so much that in, when she fell and hurt herself, instead of taking her to the hospital, 
He didn't want to get captured for his, instead of dialing 911, he didn't want to get caught for his warrant. Him the courtesy and love and attention that he really needed. Oh, right. Robert Tincher and his 82-year-old grandmother, Doris Cumming, lived together in this Floyd yeah. County apartment. This is disgusting. Police say in late December, the grandmother slipped and fell. Investigators say the grandson, Christmas. fearing he would be arrested on a previous warrant involving threats over social media against his wife, did not call 911. Let his grandmother die over fucking threats that he probably either could have beat the case to because he was young with no felonies or got probation. He literally just killed his grandmother so he didn't have to do like a year probation. Let that sink in for a second. He removed her from the bathroom, uh, placed her in some plastic bags, brought her into the kitchen where he placed her into the freezer. According to the warrant, Tincher acknowledged her back broke oh, going man. into the freezer. Oh. Investigators say Tincher told them she was still alive. From what we can determine at the time, he believed that she was still breathing and had some movement at the time that she was going into the freezer. He actually told you that, right? Yes. Oh. Police say he left her in that freezer for months. At one point, he even moved the freezer to another location. Police discovered the gruesome crime when a family member contacted them, concerned because they hadn't heard from the elderly woman. Investigator Brittany Werner never imagined she'd be handling a case so gruesome. Never expected this in our county. Things that you read about, watch TV, and you don't really think that they happen until you find out they happen. No, until they take to the GBI <laughs> crime lab for an autopsy, which will determine the cause of death and when the woman died. In Floyd County, Denise Stillman, uh, Fox 5 News. It doesn't really get much worse than this, right? It doesn't really get much worse than this. Let's call it what it is. Police say a Northwest Georgia man killed his grandmother by stuffing her in the freezer while she was still alive after dragging her through the home and hearing numerous bones break. Police say they believe that Cumming was injured in a fall in December, and instead of getting her medical attention... Tincher dragged her through the home. A criminal charge sheet says Tincher heard and saw numerous bones break. He allegedly then wrapped her in plastic bags and placed her in a large freezer, which he acknowledged that the back broke going into the freezer and that he, she was breathing when the freezer closed, was locked. Tincher continued living in the home with the body inside the freezer for months, but moved it to a storage unit in March fearing Cummings' body might be found. You, you, you can't make this shit up. Police said Cummings' family believed she had not moved out of the state, but grew concerned after not hearing from her and reported she might be missing. No altercation or provoca provocation leading up to the acts. From what we've determined at the time, he believed she was still breathing and had some movement at the time she was going into the freezer. He didn't call 911 because it was an arrest warrant, out for him because of terroristic threats he made in 2018 against his wife. He was arrested at that time back in 2018 for using Facebook to contact another man to essentially have his wife killed. Courtney had a police had had contacted the police to report that Robert had vandalized her car and put out a call for a hitman to kill her on Facebook. Felony terroristic threats is what he was facing. He says he loves his grandmother. Loved his grandmother. The only family member that gave him the courtesy and love and attention he needed. As someone that when my mother and when my family wasn't very good, I was also raised a good portion of my life by my grandmother. This story hits home with me. I can't fathom the idea of killing my grandmother so I didn't do like a year or two or three probation. I cannot fathom that. Most of the time, people are not convicted for what they write or do on social media. So, so the reality of this is his felony terroristic threat probably wasn't going to happen anyway. But this weird thing, like where he couldn't have told his grandmother, hey, I'm calling 911. I got to get out of here, though. I got a warrant. 
Like, why couldn't you have done that? Was you that broke? Was you that pathetic? Was you that much of a piece of shit? You had no other place to go. You couldn't have grabbed a. You live in. Uh, uh, you live all like close to the Appalachian Trail. Why didn't you just go buy a tent and go out to the mountains and shit? Like that's weird to me. The death of your grandmother was worth this, because you're that much of a coward. You're that much of a pussy. That the thought of a couple years probation or even prison for a very small amount of time for some reason really bothers you so much so you brutally murdered your grandmother broke her back stuffed her in the freezer heard her breathing and still slammed the freezer door now i typically go after tyrones and a lot of those type of people but you sir are worse than any of them characters people in when you this is why i don't deal with family because there is no real loyalty to sit and know that this dude could live with himself after killing his grandmother, and not just that, but brutally and cruelly. She froze to death with a broken back and broken bones. The amount of fear that had to have been going through her mind is something I couldn't fathom. This may be one of the saddest stories I've ever done. Maybe one of the most saddest stories I've ever done. The Tyrones are supposed to be fucking animals. You're not supposed to be. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. This is just a, a horrendous story. All because this man's a coward and a pussy. I just keep picturing that old lady. The fear going through her as she sat in there, couldn't move her broken body as she was freezing to death, suffocating to death. And she was all crunched up in a freezer and couldn't do anything about it. Somebody needs to do the exact same thing to him. <laughs> 